at this time I had no money. Well, I didn't have no money. I had $4 to my name. Hey guys, this is Real Life, where I talk about my real life experiences, my ups, my downs, my trials and my tribulations, and my takeaways that I got from these experiences. So, the story starts, I'm about 19 years old, living in the beautiful island of Barbados. And for those who don't know me, I lived in Barbados for about 10 years of my life, and it was a, a big part of my development. And at this time, it was a pretty rough time. Uh, my mom, she was sick and she was off the island getting treatment and I was there by myself. And let's just say, you know, I was getting money. I was getting money um, from my family to kind of help out with the groceries and this kind of thing and to eat and to pay the rent. But for some reason, the three weeks before this whole event, I was getting no money. It just got cut off. And it was rough. So I paid the rent myself. I had a job, I was working at the surf school, and I paid my rent, and at this time, I had no money. Well, I didn't have no money. I had $4 to my name. $4 Barbadian dollars, which is about $2 US. And it was tough, to say the least, it was very tough. The cool thing was, is I had a lot of friends. So I had friends who were helping me out, they were supporting me, I had a good group of people kind of holding it down, I would go to my friend's house to eat, and you know, I wasn't totally starving, struggling, suffering, you know, I had a good support system, but it was tough. So working at the surf school, that was kind of my day job, and I got a, I got a, a call from my boss, and he told me, hey, we got this group of people from Florida, and they're coming down to Barbados, and they want pictures. They asked me if you do a, a photo service, and uh, Barry knew that the situation that I was going through, and he, he told me, you just take the client. I'm gonna give you their number, contact them, you can negotiate your own price, you can do what you want, you can have this one. Great, amazing, right? Awesome, amazing opportunity for me at this time. So I messaged them, I said, hey, you know, what's going on? My name is Simon, I'm the photographer, da 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 da. They told me there's this amazing north swell that's coming into the island and we're gonna surf this spot called Bats Rock. On Saturday, can you meet us there and take photos of our crew? We have a big crew of people. So I said, hey, yep, awesome, I'm all good. Um, I'm down, let's do it. We negotiated a price, it was around $600. I think, yep, $600, all good. Saturday morning, Bats Rock, we're on. So great, you know, packing up my camera bag, getting my batteries ready, getting getting everything together, all good. So Saturday morning rolls around, I wake up, and this was my first mistake, uh, the first uh, the first I don't know tragedy of the day. I looked at my phone, it was plugged in, but it wasn't plugged in all the way. And I look at my phone, it has eight percent battery. I look at my uh, look at my phone. No text message from the guys whatsoever. I messaged them, no response. So, like I said, I had $4 Bajan to my name. Two bills, two little blue bills. And I tell myself, okay, my first decision, are these guys gonna flake, should I go? And I said, you know what, it's worth the, it's worth the risk because it takes $2 to catch the bus to Bax Rock and $2 to come back. So if I spend the $2 and they're not there, I can always just go back home. So cool, I got my camera bag, all good to go, hop on the bus. I go to Bats Rock, I get off, amazing. Bats Rock is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. And you know, the waves are coming in, I'm looking around and I don't see anybody. I'm looking at my phone, no answer. So my anxiety is starting to build a little bit at this point, right? because I don't know where these guys are at. Am I gonna go back home? Am I gonna wait it out? So I wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes goes by. I look at my phone and I see the batteries just like trickling down, down and down and down and down. I'm, a, I'm at about 4% right now. So I'm there and I finally get a text message and they say, hey, I'm so sorry. You know, we were gonna surf Bats Rock, but it was really far from the hotel. We surfed another spot. Um, we're not going to come to Bats Rock, we're going to go to this other spot named Hull. If you want to meet us there, um, we're going to go, but we're not sure. If you want to come, you can meet us there. And then with the just 
dramatic timing. As soon as I got that text message, my phone dies. My phone is dead, it's just a black screen. So I'm there and now I have a choice, right? Do I take my remaining $2, do I catch the bus and go back home? Or do I now take my last $2 which they didn't even tell me for sure. They told me if you want to come. I don't know who says that, but they tell me if you want to come, meet us at Hull. And mind you, two things. One thing is Hull is on the other side of the island. It's about a 45 minute bus ride from where I'm at to go to Hull. And two, I don't even know exactly where Hull is. I had a vague idea because I've kind of known, I've passed by and oh, it's in this little bay here, but I didn't really know. I'd never been there, never surfed there. So, okay. So, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, like if I go, what if they're not there? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be out of money. I'm gonna be like an hour and a half away from my house. I don't know anyone over there. My phone is dead. Am I gonna have to charge it? Am I gonna have to ask someone for money? I didn't know what to do. And I just, I sat there and I thought to myself, and for whatever reason, something just told me, just go. So I did. I got on the bus, and mind you, this is probably around like eight or nine o'clock now, and it's just packed with people, like fully packed. It's hot outside, this is the Caribbean, right? So it's just blazing hot, packed, literally shoulder to shoulder in this, in this bus, sweating and just riddled with anxiety. I had no idea what was gonna happen. I was just going on blind faith. So whatever, 45 minutes goes by, I get off the bus, roughly around where the area where I think it's gonna be, phone is dead, so I'm walking, 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 walking. A million thoughts running through my mind. And I finally got to the place where I, I thought the spot was, and I kind of saw like around the bay, around the corner, I kind of saw some waves breaking, but I didn't know how to get there. And I'm, I'm looking on the beach, so the beach was this way, but the road was like turning the other way. So I didn't know how to get there from the road and I didn't want to risk like walking around and going and I saw there was just a bunch of rocks by the shore going to where the spot was. So I got my bag, I got my tripod and I'm just climbing these rocks. I'm climbing, it's like, at this point now it's probably 10, 30, it's just so hot, blazing hot outside. I'm just climbing these rocks, you know, it's a big swell, right? So the waves are splashing. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm moving, I'm moving and I'm, I'm getting there and I finally got into the little bay, which I thought was Hull. I didn't even know if this was the right surf spot, but I saw some surfers, so I'm like, okay, this is my best chance. So I sat down, put on my long lens, and I saw some guys out there. And I'm thinking, okay, these guys, um, they were from Florida, like he told me, uh, Mark, we'll call him Mark. Mark told me they're from Florida. And, and I, I see these guys with these nice boards and something told me just, just start shooting. So I'm there, right? And I'm shooting, shooting, looking, shooting every single wave that's going by. And then I look over to my right and I see a group of four guys with big long boards, brand new, just walking. And something told me, just, just talk to those guys. So I get up and I say, hey, like guys, like, are you guys with Mark? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're with Mark. Oh yeah, he's out there. They've been surfing, we, we got a little bit late. Um, yeah, they're out there, they've been surfing, those are the guys. And I asked him, like, oh, could you point them out for me? And he's like, oh yeah, it's him, 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 and him. So the guys that I was there shooting the whole time were actually the crew from Florida, and now the rest of the crew is about to go out. So at this point, this was like the climax, because I took the risk, I went out there, I had everything to lose, and, and I did it, and it was just awesome, they went out, I took the photos of them and whatever, an hour went by, they all came in, I was like dripping in sweat. They come back, oh hi, how's it going Simon? Oh man, the session was so good. You know, they shook my hand, oh it's amazing, like oh, let me take you out for lunch. So you know, I get in the car with these guys, we go to this amazing place, this restaurant with like the view of the beach, it's like perfect turquoise blue, we're eating. You know, we're having life chats, we're talking about, you know, my life in Barbados and this and that and where I'm from and my journey. They're talking to me about like all this stuff and their business and it was just awesome. Like the day just turned around to be so like, because I was scared, like they told me I might go to Bats Rock. I was almost like, man, forget these guys, like 
uh, you know, they're not serious, but it turned out these guys were really cool. So we get back to the hotel and, you know, we're talking and, and the guy, Mark, he tells me, you know what? You are awesome, Simon. I want to give you this tip. And he gives me $200 cash plus the envelope with the other $600, you know, right in my hand. And I just remember, you know, I said my goodbyes and I left and just the moment, like I left the hotel, I walked down the street and I opened the envelope and I just saw like all the cash and I just started like crying. Like I was just like overwhelmed with emotion, with relief, with just gratitude. It, it was just an amazing moment. And I just remember walking down the beach, you know, I went to this little like beach shack where they were selling beers. I got a beer, Banks beer. And I sat down watching the sunset and I just, you know, drank my beer, hopped on the bus, and went back home. And you know what? After that, after that experience, things started turning around for me. Like um, I started getting more jobs uh, at the surf school, more freelance gigs, doing photography. And that was kind of the end of my rough times that I was having in Barbados. And yeah, it was just amazing. And I wanted to share that story because, well, I want to say a quote, and this quote I think sums up the story. And the quote is, leap and the net will appear. And this is a quote that's always struck me and stayed with me. And I really think that this story perfectly describes that quote. And it's like, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. You have fear, you have anxiety. and. On the other side of fear, sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith and the, the net just appears and you get saved. And sometimes it doesn't, but in my experience, most of the time it does. And yeah, that was just a, that was just a crazy day for me, a memorable day, a day I will never forget. I, I tell people this story a lot and I always try to remind myself of that story. That's the main takeaway from this story is leap and the net will appear. On the other side of fear, usually is just amazing things happen. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just sticking on the theme of Leap in the Net Will Appear, um, YouTube is something that I've always had a fear of. And, you know, putting yourself in front of the camera and being vulnerable and showing your face and everything and speaking, you know, it's, it's something that's new for me. Um, it's like the all it's like the ultimate vulnerability, you know, you feel really naked in front of the camera I'm so used to being behind the camera, you know taking photos, but I feel like I have a good feeling about this so I'm gonna start taking this a little more seriously putting myself out there and Sharing what I know sharing my experiences and just try to be true to myself and um, put it out there for the world to see So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you thought that this was an epic turnaround for my crazy day. Um, yeah, drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.